I'm Robin Higgins and this is what are sig figs in chemistry? All right, so sig figs are a type of fig and their owner is named Sig. No, that was just a terrible joke that I did. That makes no sense. Sig figs stand for significant figures. And they basically are a way of measuring what do we actually know. So let's say you're making a cake and you need to measure out one cup of flour and you measure that cup out. Uh, then you're pretty sure that you have one cup. But uh, what if you have a little bit less than one cup? Maybe you want to say you have 0 0.95836 of a cup. Um, well, basically, if anyone told you this with just measuring a cup, you'd know that they're like wrong, right? And why? Well, you just know that with a measuring cup, you can't be this precise, right? This is way too many numbers to know. Um, for instance, also, let's say you're measuring something. Let's say you measure the back of a book and it's six inches. Now, with a ruler, you might be even able to tell that it's actually 6.2 inches. But what if someone tried to tell you that they measured the same book and they found it was 6.281113492 inches? You'd be like, no, you just don't have that many significant figures. So in, so in sig figs, uh, the way that we measure something is we only uh, write down what we definitely know. And so there's a whole uh, summary of rules of how to measure stuff, but let's go into the rules of sig figs themselves. So first of all, all non-zero digits are significant. Now this has changed from you measuring something to you reading a number that someone gives you and figuring out how many sig figs it has. So if someone says that I have 3.18 uh, grams of something, all of those are non-zeros, so this is going to be three sig figs. And now, uh, the really tricky part with sig figs is the zeros. And there's three or four different types of zeros. So one is zeros that are right in the middle of a number. So now these are all significant. So this would have five sig figs. And the next type is leading. And so this, uh, they never count. So leading zeros, uh, this still just has one sig fig, this three right here. And so imagine back to our cup example, let's say I had one cup of uh, flour and I wanted to add sig figs. I couldn't just say I have zero, zero, one cups of flour, right? That doesn't make it any more or less accurate. So it's just one sig fig. Now trailing, so 230, that could count or it couldn't count. It depends on the problem. So that's some gray area. And then trailing with a decimal point, that does count. So if you're including this zero after decimal point, it's definitely a sig fig. So this has two and this has two or three. So now uh, to make it clearer, that's kind of why scientists use scientific notation. One of the reasons is because everything in scientific notation is definitely a sig fig. So this, one, two, three, four, five, has five sig figs. And those are kind of the quick and dirty version rules of sig figs and how to follow them. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How Do You Determine Sig Figs in Chemistry? Mm -hmm.